yung pandemya, I think it highlighted how vulnerable our, our press freedom is. Sacrifice. Mas nag-amplify yung role natin as journalists. Ito rin yung time na kailangan din nila na stories about hope, uh, inspirational stories. Nag-shift yung attention, lalo ngayon sa online. Land, domestic air, and domestic sea travel to and from Metro Manila shall be suspended beginning March 15, 2020. Today, uh, the DOH is confirming that a 38-year-old female Chinese patient under investigation, or PUI, is positive for the novel coronavirus Parang doon na nag-start na parang scared na lahat ng mga tao paglabas ko doon sa DOH. May mga tao na bumibili na ng face mask. Tas y- yun mm. din yata yung araw na parang ano um, out of stock na lahat ng alcohol. Nung una, takot ako kasi yung first case at tapos yung mga succeeding cases. Sa may San Lazaro lang mm. sila, di ba? So, tabi lang halos ng DOH. So, takot na takot talaga ako nun. Pero... Ayun, parang iniisip ko na lang since wala pa namang local transmission kasi Chinese pa nga yung mga unang patients nun. Wala pang local transmission. So, ang iniisip ko is baka hindi pa ganun kalala. Sobrang importante ng role ng health reporters today. Dapat talagang tutok sila dun sa issue para maibigay yung latest developments sa people. May isang article ako about yung mutation nung, nung virus. At I think mga pitong oras ko yata yung ginawa. Ang dami ko binasang, binasang mga studies, mga para lang ma, maintindihan para maisulat yung sila ng tama. I think nung nag-transition from MECQ to GCQ nung June, nandun lang ako sa loob ng sasakyan. Di talaga, lumabas ako basically para mag-cover ng mga, yung mga sakayan or public transportation. Pero hindi talaga ako lumabas ng sasakyan. Nandun lang ako sa sasakyan kasi syempre nakakatakot din. Compared before na limbawa nasa physical coverage ka, you can really see um, everything firsthand. You can see it in person. Nag-shift yung attention, lalo ngayon sa online. Dahil yung, syempre, yung TV production, hindi rin sila tuloy-tuloy. Kung baga, kung dati, mas parang masyado nagsuscrutinize ang media. Feeling ko mas dapat ngayon dahil Mm-hmm. Hindi nga nakikita kita eh. Kontrolado nila kung ano yung lalabas na information. It was a struggle because you want to directly ask your sources your questions. Um, you can't help but feel disconnected to your story, feel disconnected to the person you're interviewing. And as journalists, I think it's something that we cannot afford, especially in this pandemic, that we are disconnected. Sometimes it's not about what their answer actually is. It is about hearing their tone or seeing their facial reactions and you kind of miss out on those sometimes subtle things when you ask your questions through text or through call. Buong araw, nakatingin lang ako sa computer ko, nagmo-monitor ng hearings. Yung time naman walang fixed time eh. So, kung may gana pa, you know, gawa-gawa pa rin ng story. Pandemic is the focus right now, pero um, it's crucial also to report out um, issues na hindi man pandemic pero it uh, it affects yung lives ng mga tao. It's important for us to report yung kung meron mang anomalies. Especially sa funds um, na ginagastos ng gobyerno for the response. Magsasara na po ang ABS-CBN. Nagkikipag sa parana sa karsada para lang ay may pangtawid. Makakalan namin si Mora. Secretary Doke, this is not the time for you to resign. A new speaker of 
the House of the People. I am tendering my irrevocable resignation. No matter what happens, pandemic man yan, disaster, calamities, the jobs of journalists never really stop. Daming sakripisyo yung kinihingin mo. Time, effort, even resources. We cannot afford to be silent. Now is the time that we work together. Now is the time that we speak up. Because in my belief, the moment that journalists become quiet is the moment that press freedom dies. And we cannot afford that, especially in these trying times.